Good morning, students. Yesterday, I discussed the meaning of recruitment. Then I discussed the types of recruitment. Then I told you there are basically two types of recruitments are there. One is called the internal sources of recruitment, and the other is called the external sources of recruitment. And yesterday, I discussed. the meaning of internal sources of recruitment and i discussed the advantages of internal sources of recruitment i hope you remember the meaning of internal sources of recruitment recruitment means you know when you are motivating the prospective candidates to apply for a particular job or a particular post and it create a pool of candidates and it is a positive process and in case of internal sources of recruitment means when you are motivating your existing employees those who are working in your organization that means those who are inside the organization you are motivating them to apply for a particular vacancies that is what is called internal sources of recruitment and there i discuss the advantages of internal sources of recruitment yesterday today i am going to discuss the disadvantages of internal sources of recruitment that means what are the demerits of internal sources of recruitment number 1 reduce the scope of finding skilled and more efficient people why because in place of internal recruitment you are going to fill the vacancies from your existing worker so when you are going to fill that particular vacancy from your existing worker definitely you are not going to get the more efficient more skilled people to appoint them okay that is what is one of the demerits or disadvantages of internal sources of recruitment now the second thing unsuitable candidates may promoted to the higher post in place of internal recruitment you have a limited number of choice with you when you have a limited number of choice to fill that particular higher post what is happening there a candidate who is not 100% fit for that particular job or for that particular post also sometimes you have to give him that particular post because you are doing the internal recruitment that is why it is called unsuitable that means a candidate who is not 100% suitable for a particular post because of internal recruit recruitment because of less choice you have to give him that particular post okay next employees become lethargic this is very important why the employees become lethargic because you know there are some organizations where after a particular years of work or experience the people are going to get the higher post or they are going to get the promotion and when you know if you work for 5 years without doing the work properly also as per the system you are going to get the higher post definitely you will be lethargic you will not be so energetic to do the work okay yeah that i am giving you because sure of time bond promotion because there are certain organization they have some rules and regulation if you are they are in a particular post for 2 years or 3 years or 5 years automatically after 5 years you are going to get the higher post when you know whether you do the work or don't do the work a 
after a certain period of time he was going to get the higher post will you do the work energetically definitely not why because you know without doing the work also without doing proper performing the work properly also because of after certain time because of the rules and regulation of the organization that there is a time one promotions are there you know that you are going to do it will you do the work so energetically that is why the workers of that type of organizations are lethargic humko to promotion mil jayega hum kaam kare ya nahi kare 5 saal ke baad ya 3 saal ke baad so why should i do more and more work so these are the disadvantages or demerits of internal sources of recruitment once more it is very very important first things reduce the scope of finding skilled and more efficient worker why because here you are you are only going to motivate the workers those who are already working for your organization so you are not going to get the fresh blood you are not going to get the young generation you are not going to get the fresh candidates that is why definitely they will not be so efficient as the young generations are i'm sure the will can you there i told you your choice is less even if i am not 100% fit for a particular post but you have very less choice i am at least maybe 50% or 60% fit for the post then sometime master given me that particular post that is why they saw said unsuitable candidate or sometimes they been promoted because you don't have too much of choice with you an employee become lethargic i already explained you why employee become lethargic it is known to you now i'm going to discuss the external sources of recruitment and today i am only going to discuss the meaning of external sources of recruitment and the advantages of external sources of recruitment the meaning of external sources of recruitment means when the recruitment of the employees from outside the organization that means when you are motivating the people to apply for a particular job or a particular post not from inside the organization from the outside the organization that type of recruitment called external recruitment and that source of recruitment is called external sources of recruitment once more recruitment of employees from outside the organization is basically called external sources of recruitment that means anyone from outside the organization can apply for a particular vacancy they are called external sources of recruitment you know the meaning of external mean outside okay now i'm coming advantages of external sources of recruitment if you know the disadvantages of internal sources what are the disadvantages of internal sources with comparing that only you will be able to find out the advantages of external sources of recruitment advantages means here merits of external sources of recruitment but the first one wide choice there are all of us are knowing you know the meaning of wide choice because in the definition only it told you external sources of recruitment means when you are motivating the people from outside the organization that means anyone can apply for a particular post and when anyone can apply for a particular post your pool of candidates will be more and when the pool of candidate will be more you have lot of choice whom to take because let me tell you suppose you have given a vacant an app advertisement in the paper the candidates those who co- score 90% and above 90% marks they are only allowed to apply for a particular vacancy when you give this type of advertisement what you notice there are ta- maybe hundreds or thousands of candidates will be there those who will apply for that particular post those who score 90 or more than 90% marks or not 
so you will have a wide choice. Your choice will be too much. Okay? And that is why it is called wide choice because more and more candidates will apply for that particular post. Next coming, infusion of new blood. Very important. A new generation, a young generation, a new candidates, a energetic candidates is going to apply for that particular post. When an energetic candidates, a new candidates are going to apply for that post, they will have more energy, they will have fresh energy, they will have more, they will be more happy to do the work. That is why they said infusion of new blood. You will get the new blood, new generation, new type of ideas will come to the organization. This is also one of the advantages. And the third thing, healthy competition. You know, whenever you are doing the internal sources of recruitment, they are what is happening better. Like two people are at the same post and both of them applied for the higher post. But the candidate who is very close to the management in place of internal recruitment, that particular person, even if he is not so fit, he is going to get the higher post. Okay? That the competitions are not healthy. And when, suppose, there is two candidates, and if I, both are having the same qualification in internal recruitment, if one gets the higher post, definitely there will be ill feelings among the candidates those who already applied for the higher post or not, where in internal sources of recruitment, you know even better in your class, when a house captain is being selected by your class teacher or your house master, there might be two candidates, both are applied for the house captainship, but when the class teacher choose one of them as a house captain, you must be noticing there is a difference, there a difference has been created among both the students. Okay? They said, oh, house captain ho gaya, class teacher usko favor kar diye, hamko favor nahi kiya, dono ka bich mein ek unhealthy competition create ho jata hai, but in place of external sources of recruitment, nobody is knowing anyone. Okay? That is why here the competition is healthy, a systematic competition will be there and in that systematic competition, the person who will be 100% fit, he is going to get the job. That is why it is also one of the advantages once more, meaning I told you, means where you are motivating the people to apply for a job or motivating the candidates to apply for a job those who are not inside the organizations. So anyone from outside can apply. And when they apply, the pool of candidates will be more. What is the advantage? Wide choice. When the pool of candidates is more, so your choice is wide. More. Next, infusion of new blood, new candidate, new energy, new ideas will be there when you are going to choose a fresh one. And third one, healthy competitions. There will be no misunderstanding among themselves because nobody is knowing anyone and the competition pattern and whenever you are going to choose, definitely you are going to choose the 100% best candidates for that. So this is what I discussed today in your class. Please, this thing you must know properly because this, these are the things which is going to help you in your future life also for your competition also. Thank you. Thank you so much.